Hello, my name is Anya, and today we will be adding the option to see more or see less of a text within a repeating group called a post, and the post has some content as a text field. I went ahead and added some posts of various lengths into the database. Now I'm going to build the whole thing responsibly. So the first thing I want to do is change the container layout from fixed to row. I'm not going to focus too much on design, just more about the overarching theme. Firstly, I'm going to make the cells container layout a column and I'm going to make it a fixed 500. Now I'm going to set the type of content equal to a search for all of the posts in the database. I'm going to remove this set a fixed number of rows and we will come back to this. Now I'm going to add in some text. This text is just going to read the current cells posts content and I'm going to make it as long as the space permits with a limit of 500 and then just say fit height to content with no minimum height. I also want to add in another piece of text under it which is just going to read see more. I'm going to make this 12 pixels so there's some differentiation and then we can also make it blue. Now I'm going to take both of these and group these elements in a column. This is just going to give me some more stylistic choice. And even though I'm not focusing on it, it still is important. So let's just go on this group and add some padding on all sides. I'm thinking 16 pixels. I'm going to also add in 8 pixels of gap spacing which is going to give some separation between the post content and then our see more text. Let's preview this. And we can see all of our different posts and then our repeating group is also growing to fit that. Now let's configure the see more button. The way we're going to do this is with custom states. So let's click on our group post, which is the group that houses these two and is inside the repeating group. And on that, we are going to add a new custom state. This is like a variable, but it lives on this specific element. I'm going to make this state expanded. This state is going to be a yes or no. And by default, it's going to be no. So by default, the text is not expanded. So what does that mean? I'm going to add a condition here that says when the parent group, when group post expanded is no, when it's not expanded, which is by default, I'm going to actually change this text to make it the parent group's posts content and then truncated to, to 70 characters. This is just going to say that it's taking whatever the parent group's content is, and it's only displaying the first 270 characters of that. Since we grouped these two in a group together, it Bubble automatically made it of type content post and also accurately set the data source. Now we can preview this and we can see this really long test text just shrink because that's how it works. I'm going to actually make it 200 characters so we can see the difference a little more clearly. And now we can quite clearly see that this text, even though it was more than double it before, is now much shorter. Now let's configure see more to actually expand this text so you can really see more. On this text, I'm going to add a workflow. And on this workflow, all I'm going to do is set the state of our group post to group posts expanded to yes. 
since group post is inside the repeating group, each of these cells in a way has their own group post. So if I click expand it over here, it doesn't change expanded of this group, whereas expanded of this group is now yes. Let's go back on our text. And here, I'm going to actually change this to say when group post expanded is yes, this content is going to be parent groups post content. Otherwise, it's going to be the content truncated to 100 characters. Jumping around a lot, I apologize for that, but let's just look at where we're at right now. All of these are by default set to no for expanded. And then I can click see more. It sets expanded to yes. And we see it expand. I'm going to do the same for this one. This one will be more visually clear. And we see it expand because right now as we have it, it's just reliant on whatever the custom state is. And we have set that appropriately to just change when we click the see more. But now I saw more and I want to condense it again. I want to see less and I don't want the see more option to still be here when there's really nothing more to see. So on my text, I'm going to add the same condition as I had on the other one. When group posts expanded, is yes when it's already expanded this text is going to read c less similarly just how we change the appearance of the text we're also going to change the workflow so when the text is not expanded when group posts expanded is no then we are going to set expanded to yes otherwise when expanded is already yes, let's just set expanded to no. Let's preview this. On page load, expanded is set to no because that's what we made its default. And now when we click see more, it gets expanded. This changes to see less. We can click it again and it condenses again. And that works for all of these. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching and check out my free 0 to 1 bubble.io course at bit.ly slash 0 to 1 bubble or at the link in the description box below.